Hey guys, what's going on? Today is Monday. But uh, we are here at the wood company that I found on Craigslist to pick up some pecan wood. Now you'll never know what you uh, can find out here. And for the people that say, oh, you off today, or you closed today, oh, no, you, you're not never really off. You may be closed, but you're never really off, so they got a lot here, as you all can see. This the man right here. Wow. What, what all do you have here? Everything. It's all Man, then it's under the cover so it, you can trust that it's not wet. So it can catch as soon as you get ready to throw it on. I'm so bad at uh what which wood is which. I'm t terrible there. I just know. Uh, I think this is this cherry. No, sir. Oh, uh, uh, see, I'm terrible at this right here. If you look at cherry, if you just remember, the darker the red, the the more cherry it is. It's a black cherry. Uh, oh. That we that's native to Louisiana. Okay. Uh, it's black cherry. We don't have any of the cherry trees like in Washington and stuff. That's uh, right. It's a different kind, but black cherry. This bark right here is the, uh, the pecan. So oh yeah. You'll notice pecan is stringier. When you look at it, if it doesn't have any bark on it, you see how stringy that is? Right, right. Versus uh, this is an oak. So you see how it's not stringy at all? Yeah, I'm like furniture. <laughs> yeah, 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 oak yeah. furniture, something. I'm sorry, uh, what's your name? What's the name of you? Joey. Um, Joey. The firewood guys. Okay, firewood guys. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. But anyway, we got pecan here as well. So uh, we got walnut, uh, black walnuts right here on the other side of that. We got persimmon on the other side of that one. Uh, so it really depends on what you want. You know, we got a little bit of every kind of wow. uh, specialty wood. My uh my my flavor profile that I that I have is mostly pecan, so I use pecan now. But I never use what you what you what you just the last one? What did persimmon. you say? Persimmon. Persimmon. Yeah. Wow. So, so persimmon is a uh, is a fruity wood. It's going to be used more like you would a, a peach or an orange. Right. Uh, okay. You know, the uh, the walnut is is more of a harsh wood. It would be something like you use with a uh, you want to blend it with cherry or persimmon to right. take away the harshness of it. It's more like mesquite. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, you know, mosquito harsh. Yeah, it's got yeah. like a harsh, distinctive flavor. Right. Uh, right. But anyway, you, your pecan is great, universal uh, to use with anything. If you're cooking a, a brisket, you probably want to use oak uh, mm -hmm. because it, that oak gives it it's a lot hotter uh, flavor, a lot mm -hmm. hotter temperature, so it's easier to regulate the temperature. Right. Because you want to keep it burning at a regular 250 degrees or whatever uh, right. on the on the temperature. Right. So you put in one stick a oak when you go to sleep that night right and it'll go all night Whereas wow pecan, you know you got to stay up all night tending it right because right. pecan it goes through like that man don't don't do that to me cause yeah so yeah. the, the uh, you, you, the, you tell me how and i'm in, in complete agreement because i cook with pecan so i know yeah i gotta put one on every four to five minutes or hour and uh, ten minutes or so yeah you're gonna try to persuade me is that post oak or just uh, they, we, i know some people all. we have our uh, post oak we have red oak uh, this is white oak, which is your post oak. Right. Uh, but we have all of it. You know, just depends on what you want to cook yeah. with. Uh, pecan has a, a distinct flavor. If you're, if you have patience. Right. That's right. The, uh, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Uh, to use a pecan. You, you run through this faster than you would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you, to, to cook a brisket, you'll need, you know, probably a, an eighth a quarter pecan. Right. Versus uh, half of that in, in an oak. That's why I cook about six of them at a time. So I can get the there you go. Yeah, so uh, the temperature is the temperature, whether you get six of them in there or not. Right. It don't matter. Right, uh, right. But that makes sense. Yeah. I use, um, well, I'm not going to tell people my secret what I use <laughs> on my video. So, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, probably I want to try it out because, not saying that you I got some wood from Guy before and it, and it wasn't dried out like they said it was. I mean, I see you got the overhanging everything here, yeah. but I just want to make sure that um, 
Yeah, we, we have, know that we supply most of the restaurants here in town. So I mean, like we actually keep our moisture content. So we okay. know where we're at. You, you know, your moisture content is what determines how long it's going to cook. And a lot of the restaurants will use a higher moisture content uh, for the pecan because it lasts longer. Right. The more right. moisture in it, the longer right. it last. Right. If I give you the pecan that was here for two years ago. Uh, oh yeah, it catches like it, that. It, it burns like yeah. a be ash for you like know. Like kindling, yeah. Right. Uh, whereas this right here is probably going to be a little bit longer burn. Okay. Uh, but you definitely uh, going to need some kindling to get it started. Because right. Because that's the heavier, you know, yeah. pecan. Well, well, you. Are, how long have you been here? Uh, well, we've been doing this for seven years. Mm -hmm. uh, we've just been here for this our first year. Okay. Uh, so we just moved here. Were you ever off Jones Creek or somewhere like that? Yep. I got wood from you before. Yep. yep. I remember now, about two years ago, I got wood from you before. I was, I didn't have my business at the time, but I was still cooking, yeah. I remember. It's good to run into you again, man. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. We actually uh, sort of, we picked up the whiskey barrels as a way to uh, to season our wood. We're going to do chunks in the whiskey barrels that'll be seasoned. Oh, uh, dude, that's uh, crazy. And the, up in uh, Kentucky and, and Tennessee, where we get the whiskey barrels from, they actually use the, the oak staves. These are all made out of oak. Right. But they use the oak staves for uh, for barbecue. Yeah. So it has a, a whiskey flavor, uh, a bourbon flavor, but it, uh, it is oak as well. Right. When I first started, I used that uh, the Hennessy uh, mm -hmm. chop uh, chips or whatever. Yep. And I, I used to love that flavor, and that's, and that's what it's it smells like me standing here right same, now. Yes, yeah, the same thing. So right. like, if you uh, look at our barrels, we actually we smell that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So <laughs> it's still still that's got the whiskey great. in the bottom of it. Right, uh, right. So that's what keeps that that flavor going through it. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Well, I'm, uh, I wish I would bought my trailer, but I got my truck. I probably get about forty dollars. Forty dollars good. You, yeah. you do forty dollars? Okay. Fine. Just pull your truck up in here if you want. Okay. Uh, just back up in here, and uh, and we'll get you taken care of. All right, guys. I'm gonna uh, get back with y'all when we are loaded. Uh, we're gonna get some of this pecan wood right here. I gotta have a busy Labor Day weekend and Labor Day, so I gotta stock up on wood as much as I can. It won't be the last thing you wanna get before you open, so we'll be back shortly. <laughs> 